Do salvage and rebuild titles affect the value and usability of a classic Mercedes? Russell, one of our subscribers, sent us this question. And uh, I think his question was, do salvage titles, how much do salvage titles affect the classic Mercedes community or classic Mercedes hobby? It was something like that. So forgive me, Russell, if I can't remember the exact question. But uh, really, we're going to look at three things. How do salvage titles and rebuild titles affect the value of a classic Mercedes? Uh, are there... Is there any value in a car that has a, 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 a salvage title or a rebuild title? And is the salvage title or rebuild title a car that was literally rebuilt out of a total mess? So we're going to look at these aspects and then we're going to talk about one other thing called the certificate of destruction, which is something we have in the state of Florida. And there's a way to get around that, but it's not pretty. So let's, let's look at salvage or rebuild titles first. We know that certain auction sites like Bring a Trailer do not take rebuild cars that have rebuild titles or salvage titles even though salvage sounds a lot worse than rebuild they essentially are the same thing so a rebuild title means the car was in an accident it could be any accident it could mean the car had a windshield that just cost more than the value of the car to replace it could mean that the car is backed into by a semi truck and the owner chose to fix it who knows but Salvage title means the same thing. Car was in some degree of accident and now has that permanent record on its title. And so this is this is kind of a frustrating thing. I mean, on one thing, it's full disclosure, which is always good. On the other hand, it really turns people off because people see the word salvage title. They think the car was pulled out of a wrecking yard and put back on the road. Mm -hmm. Or they think that the car was in a major accident and severely damaged. And these things just simply are not true. A salvage titled car could be a car, again, that had a very minor repair. I had a beautiful 85 300 TD that had a, a rebuild title from the state of Georgia. Why? Because the car had to have a fender replaced. Why did it have to have a fender replaced? Because another car hit the fender and there was localized damage to the fender. Never found any damage in the rest of the car. Uh, I've also seen cars that have salvaged or rebuilt titles that didn't even really have anything wrong with them. So we couldn't even find what the damage was. It was usually something stupid, like a. I think in one case we had a car where a taillight got broken. And because the taillight was so expensive, they tried to salvage the car over a taillight because insurance companies will do that. They'll lowball you to death on your car. And then they'll buy the car from you and then they'll take it to an auction and resell it. And so that's the, that's the third thing. Salvage or rebuilt title cars usually got seized by the insurance company. They were not bad enough to total because the insurance company said, huh, we could take this to auction and make some money on it. Then somebody else will buy it, usually a body shop or a dealer, get it fixed, go through the recertification process, and then get the car back in the road again. So what I'm trying to say is that if you're looking at a Mercedes with a salvaged or rebuilt title, you shouldn't just walk away. They need to be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. And I've seen some really beautiful cars out there that don't have great documentation. You know, they'll have this salvaged title scar because they're from California or a rebuilt title scar because they're from California or, or from Florida or something and they were in an accident or they're from Texas and they had hail damage that was popped out, you know, or something and they simply don't deserve it. And then I'll, you know, we'll see some other cars where they just, yeah, you know, who, wow, you know, like um, a friend of mine had a 560 SEC that was rear-ended and the, the car merited having the salvage title. Uh, it was repaired. I don't know how well it was repaired. I guess it was okay, but I'm just saying it merited the, the award. Now, how do these impact the value? Well, I always tell people this. It depends on the severity of the damage. Once you get a salvage or rebuilt title, the value of your car is reduced somewhere between 25 and 50%. If your car is in an accident and you have to go through insurance, it's very important to document the pre-accident condition and all the steps that were taken to repair it because that's how you preserve the value of your car. That way, nobody could point at you and say, well, how do I know? And you know, the car wasn't, you know, crushed on one side. Well, I've got the pictures to prove it. Here's all the documentation. Here's the paper trail. 
this kind of documentation is really important because there, there are really only two ways to ascertain the extent of the damage that got the car that rebuilt her salvage title in the first place. The first one is to look at the paper trail, try to get a good idea of what happened. The second one is to do a physical inspection of the car and go through the entire car and look and see what was done and what wasn't. We've seen 280SLs. We, I, I looked at a gold 280SL a few years ago, and I can say all I want to about this car because it sold, but it, it was priced at 55000 which is fair, and it had the fender, grill, headlight, everything, bumper replaced on the right side. I think they even put a used hood on it or, or repaired the hood. This car was priced where it was because of the salvage title. Without the salvage title, it would have been worth another $20,000. You know, and, and that's one of the reasons why I tell people who own these cars that it's very important to protect, document your car before an accident, after an accident, during the repairs. Now, the third thing we're going to talk about is the certificate of destruction, which is what the state of Florida issues. It means that that car is totaled, can't be driven anymore, has to be parted out. COD is a very ugly thing. And I remember when I was friends with Terry, my old boss, if he's watching, Terry and I used to go to the Sadisco auctions and we'd look at the cars that were rebuilt titles and we'd look at the cars that were COD or Certificate of Destruction. A lot of the Certificate of Destruction cars could have been repaired. It's just the person who's writing up the car, which is, you know, usually an overweight NPC insurance underwriter, appraiser guy who didn't know the difference between a car and a couch would come over and appraise the car and come up with an idea of what it needed to be fixed. So that that was always a frustrating situation. But what I'm saying is if you if you are in Europe and you're buying like a let's say you find a 280 SL that is a COD, the COD only stands in the United States. And actually in some states, I mean getting rid of a COD is as simple as sometimes, you know, looking at the car, making sure that it's actually still safe to drive and then calling a you know, a place that does car titles and seeing if if, if really there's something that can be done to reverse the COD or get a new title for the car. Now, not encouraging people to do that because technically it is illegal, but I'm saying that there are some people who do that. I personally have never done that before. I've never encouraged a customer to do that. You know, I would say about 80% of COD titles are merited, but there are 20% where the car's like in a flood or something where it's just not it just didn't make sense to issue a COD. So I'm not saying that all CODs are good or right, but a lot of the time, the typical COD car is like a car that was folded in half when an F-350 ran over it and then flipped it over four times and then it caught on fire. So, um, But of course, the economic value is the biggest influencer of what the COD is. And some, some insurance companies will total cars faster than others. So, you know, if you're working with a company like State Farm, which will actually, according to my, my, uh, my uh, subscriber, David Pena, the insurance company actually wants to help you get the issues on your car resolved. If you're working with a company like Geico, where they just hire anybody with a pulse, good luck. So that's all I have to say. Um, all right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell for notifications, and we'll talk to you again in the future. And enjoy working on and take good care of your classic Mercedes, salvage title or not.